two stages sad phase one first it travels through distance xm1 with zero initial velocity and acceleration of 8.40 meters per square second reaching speed gm 58.8 meters per second then it travels through distance XM2 with constant velocity VM 58.8 meters per second and zero acceleration fast. 2 is a constant acceleration. Note that we symbolize the distances even though we do not know their values. Symbolizing unknown quantities is often helpful in solving physics problems, but introducing such unknowns sometimes takes physics courage. Calculation. So that we can draw figures and do calculations, let's assume that the vehicles race along the positive direction of an axis, starting from x0 at time t0. We can figure to the 10A jet airplane, a car, and a motorcycle just after accelerating from rest of the first stage, and the acceleration is a zero. So, the distance traveled during the second stage is 2 to 23 XM 2 VM TTM VM T 7.00 S 26. Chapter 2 Motion Along a Straight Line To finish the calculation, we substitute EQs 2 to 20, 2 to 22, and 2 to 23 into EQ 2 to 19, obtaining 1, 2, 1, 2, Act 2, BM to AM, BMT, 7.00S 2 to 24. This is a quadratic equation. Substituting in the given data, we solve the equation by using the usual quadratic equation formula or a polynomial solver on a calculator finding t 4.44s and t 16.6s. But what do we do with two answers? Did the car pass the motorcycle twice? No, of course not, as we can see in the video. So, one of the answers is mathematically correct but not physically meaningful. Because we know that the car passes the motorcycle after the motorcycle reaches its maximum speed at T. 7.00s, we discard the solution with T7.00s as being the unphysical answer and conclude that the passing occurs at that at T. 7.00s the plot for the motorcycle switches from being curved because the speed had been increasing to being straight because the speed is thereafter constant. 1000 800 600 XM 400 200 0 Acceleration in Motorcycle Car passes motorcycle T 16.6 F Answer Figure 2 to 11 is a graph of the position versus time for the two vehicles with the passing point mark. Notice 0, 5, 10, T, S, car, 15. Figure 2 to 11 graph of position versus time for car and motorcycle. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. Another look at constant acceleration. 20. The first two equations in table 2 to 1 are the basic equations from which the others are derived. Those two can be obtained by integration of the acceleration with the condition that A is constant. To find EQ. 211, we rewrite the definition 
acceleration A is a constant, it can be taken outside the integration. We obtain B B A B T 4 B at C opening parenthesis 2 25 closing parenthesis T value is a constant of integration C. We let T zero, at which time B version zero. Substituting these values into EQ, T to 25 which must hold for all values of T, including T0 yields. B0, A0, CC. Substituting this into EQ.225 gives us EQ.211. To derive EQ. 2 to 15, we rewrite the definition of velocity EQ. 2 to 4 as Vx dt, and then take the indefinite integral of both sides to obtain Vx dt. This section is intended for students who have had integral calculus. Next. We substitute for verses with EQ.211. 253 fall acceleration. 27. Vx. V0. At Vt. Since version 0 is a constant, as is the acceleration A, this can be rewritten as Vx V0. Vtf. Tvt. Integration now yields x version 0 t12 at 2c 2 to 26, where c is another constant of integration. At time t0, we have xx0. Substituting these values in eq, 2 to 26 yields x0. C, replacing with x0 in eq. 2 to 26 gives us EQ. 2 to 15. 2, 5, 3, fall, acceleration. Learning objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 2.16 identify that if a particle is in free flight whether upward or downward, and if we can neglect the effects of air on its motion, the particle has a constant. Ideas. Downward acceleration with a magnitude g that we take to be 9.8 meters per square second. 2.17 apply the constant acceleration equations, table 2 to 1, to free fall motion. Build circle an important example of straight line motion with constant acceleration as that of an object rising or falling freely near Earth's surface. The constant acceleration equations describe this motion, but we make two changes in notation. Once we refer the motion to the vertical y-axis with y vertically up, T we replace it with G, where G is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration. Near Earth's surface, G 9.8 meters per square second, 32 feet per square second. Free fall acceleration. If you toss an object either up or down and could somehow eliminate the effects of air on its flight, you will find that the object accelerates downward at a certain constant rate. That rate is called the free fall acceleration, and its magnitude is represented by g. The acceleration is independent of the object's characteristics, such as mass, density, or shape, it is the same for all objects. Two examples of free fall acceleration are shown in Fig. 212, which is a series of stroboscopic photos of a feather and an apple. As these objects fall, they accelerate downward, both at the same rate g. Thus, their speeds increase at the same rate, and they fall together. The value of G varies slightly with latitude.
altitude and with elevation. At sea level and Earth's mid latitude, the value is 9.8 meters per second to, or 32 feet per square second, which is what you should use as an exact number for the problems in this book unless otherwise noted. The equations of motion in table 2 to 1 for constant acceleration also apply to free fall near Earth's surface. That is, they apply to an object in vertical flight, either up or down, when the effects of the air can be neglected. However, note that for free fall, once the directions of motion are now along a vertical y-axis instead of the x-axis, with the positive direction of y upward. This is important for later chapters when combined horizontal and vertical motions are examined. Two for free fall acceleration is negative, that is, downward on the y-axis, toward Earth's center, and so it has the value d in the equation. Copyright Jim Sugar Corbett. Figure 2 the 12A feather and an apple free fall in vacuum of the same magnitude of acceleration g. The acceleration increases the distance between successive images. In the absence of air, the feather and apple fall together. 28. Chapter 2 motion along a straight line. The free fall acceleration near Earth's surface is a magnitude of the acceleration is g g 9.8 meters per square second do not substitute 9.8 meters per second to for g 9.8 meters per second to and thus suppose you toss a tomato directly upward with an initial positive velocity version zero and then catch it when it returns to the release level during its free fall flight, from just after its release to just before it is caught, the equations of table 2 to 1 apply to its motion. The acceleration is always a g 9.8 meters per second to negative and th us downward. The velocity, however, changes, as indicated by e cube. 2 to 11 and 2 to 16, during the ascent, the magnitude of the positive velocity decreases, until it momentarily becomes zero. Because the tomato has been stopped, it is at its maximum height. During the descent, the magnitude of the now negative velocity increases. Checkpoint 5. A. If you toss a ball straight up. What is the sign of the ball's displacement for the ascent, from the release point to the highest point? B. What is it for the descent, from the highest point back to the release point? C. What is the ball's acceleration at its highest point? Sample problem 2.05 time for full up-down flight, baseball toss. In fig. 13, a pitcher tosses a baseball up along a y-axis, with an initial speed of 12 meters per second. A. How long does the ball take to reach its maximum height? K E Y I D E A S. Once once the ball leaves the pitcher and before it returns to his hand, its acceleration is the free fall acceleration A. G. Because this is constant, table 2 to 1 applies to the motion. 2 for velocity v at the maximum height must be 0. Calculation. Knowing v, a, a, n d the initial, veloc, i t y, v 0, 12 meters per second, and seeking t, we solve E2.211, which contains those four variables. This yields T V D 0 A 0 12 meters per second. 9.8 meters per square second.